Molly and Norwalk, meeting up with Greg. We'll go see the Iron Maidens tonight. I didn't record a segment before leaving. Oh well, it happens. But you know the drill at this point. Let's go bug the OMD and let the festivities, his birthday festivities, begin. Oh, it's because you haven't even been in this car yet. That's right. This is your first time in this car. Therefore, I never filmed us together in this car. Oh, that's right. You got a new car, too. Hello, you just stepped into a completely different car <laughs> than the last time. Like, color is different. The shape is different. Different make and model. Different year. Way different year. Well, you know why? Because there was a red car parked up there, and it looked like a Hyundai Accent, which you have. That's why you were walking that way? Yeah. I thought the senility was kicking in, and you were just, like, lost. You are like... Which way is my home? <laughs> I might have to include this now in the vlog, that little bit. Quick apologies for the light in here. We're in a parking garage. I mean, I can turn this on, but usually it just makes it worse. Oh yeah, that's much worse. Oh God. I mean, you can see as good. Let me see something. That's not as bad, but you know, don't tilt the wheel. I'm trying to figure out. Well, it's like washing me out, dude. All right, so I picked up Greg. We're running some errands. Tonight we're gonna go see the Iron Maidens, but that's gonna be in the Star Rock video, of course. This is just a vlog. But a little bit of exploration in uh, Greg's stomping grounds. I haven't really done this yet since pretty much every time I've come to visit, there's always been a specific purpose going on and everything's revolved around that purpose. And there's a specific purpose going on now, but the thing is, I got here mad early for once. Shows tonight. I'm not rushing out the door. I'm actually going to stay over and go home sometime tomorrow. I'm not picking up the dog until Saturday. Oh, wow. I did that on purpose, so this way, you know, when it's like 8 or 9 o'clock at night and I haven't left yet, I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. So, still intend to go home tomorrow. I just have some flexibility at it. By the way, this is slightly off topic, but our buddy from college, the one who shares our humor about the heavenly kid. Okay. Okay. His initials are ER. Oh, I know how to send it to you. One time I brought up, so he had moved to Florida a long time ago, and he and I on and off, like we, we'll like lose touch and then come back and then we'll talk about stuff. He was talking about how he started to get into drinking wild turkey. And you were just like, wild turkey? What is he, like 70 years old now? Oh, I know who you're talking about. See? I knew baseball you. cat. Yes, baseball. Okay, that's his nickname now, baseball cat. <laughs> <laughs> so baseball cat sends me this clip of Limp Bizkit, because you know, they released a new album last year. Run forest. So Greg and I ended up at Trumbull Shopping Park in Trumbull, Connecticut. We're taking a little business. Now I'm getting ready to eat. I bought myself a bento box. Yo, dude, food bucket list item right here. Bento box. It's gonna be my first time trying it. Filming right now. My boy picked up some Charlies. You know, I can't even see what's inside the box, and it already looks good. <laughs> Just the way it's labeled. So we got our salad, got our fried dumplings, fermented veg, looks like a radish, rice rolls. It's a beef bento box, and I opted for the fried rice rather than the white rice. And had I known I was coming to a place that was gonna have Japanese cuisine and they weren't gonna give me chopsticks, I would have brought my own chopsticks, but that's okay. I'll just have to eat it like an American. All right, so I'm a little under-equipped for this review. It's kind of impromptu, you, but it's all right. That's why they put cameras on cell phones. <laughs> so I'm gonna try a bit of the salad first. Go a little traditional. Let's try some of this. Okay. Lettuce is pretty fresh. Dressing is your typical house dressing like you get in any Asian cuisine. It's decent, crunchy. Dressing is a bit sweet, not overly seasoned. Thank goodness. All right, so I prepared my little dipping spot. Forgot to mention that there was just a touch of wasabi paste. So I mixed a little soy sauce in there. Get a little Kind of dip that a bit into, I'm doing a horrible job here. Dip that into my little mixture here. We all know wasabi stands for mint sauce. Mmm, that's good, it's fresh. 
fresh the rice is um it's not like clumped together and sticky like you sometimes get white rice I mean, you can kind of see the individual grains and they separate nicely on the bite and you know the sushi roll kind of held together well i figured this was just going to fall apart if i used chopsticks it probably would have because i'm not exactly an expert yet with chopsticks but i'm getting better second bite here yeah it's smooth wasabi's got just enough of a kick to let you know it's there but it doesn't have me running for my beverage which is good oh there's a little bit of an after kick i feel it now it's the horseradish yeah baby that's what i'm talking about just have a little bit of my fermented uh yeah clear my palate that way next i'm gonna try fried wonton in there kind of dip that in there Considering that it's a commercial Japanese cuisine in a mall, pretty good. It feels like they just made this like 20 minutes ago. So it's good. It's good when you get this kind of stuff and it's fresh. Again, some of the beef. This I know is fresh. I watched them kind of fry it up in front of me. Try some of that plain. Mmm. Nice. Mmm. Perfectly cooked, medium well, not rubbery at all. Nice, tender, good amount of seasoning. I gotta really say, because my experience in going to a place like this in a mall is that they tend to over season. They make it really salty. This is like just the right amount. I'm gonna try a bit of the fried rice first and then we'll work on some hot sauce. Get some with some of the juices from the beef in there. Be sure to get a, a pea in there too. Not bad. Similar to what I said about the rice on the rice roll. Individual grains, they're not clumped together like <laughs> eating from a school cafeteria, you know what I'm saying? It's nice and separated. The vegetables in there, it's not that much vegetables. It's a little bit of carrot and peas. It uh, seems to be fresh. Obviously this was a batch that was made not long ago. I mean, it's, uh, well, it's actually two o'clock. So to come to a place like this and the food is still fresh after two o'clock, it's pretty impressive especially for a mall. I'll say this about the rice, it's fresh, it's good. Out of the whole bento bond, it's probably the least of what's on here. I mean, it's not bad at all, but kinda not on the same level. But better than what I expect from a mall. All right, laid down my hot sauce now. Now, just to give you perspective, this is the prepackaged hot sauce. It's from New Jersey. It's not even like it's, you know, Korean sriracha or anything, which is also made in the US, but yeah, you know, that's besides the point. <laughs> First, I'm gonna try a fried dumpling in there. Dumplings is one of those things that was almost engineered to have a hot sauce, I gotta say, and soy sauce. Mm -hmm. And sesame, which I didn't have that option. There you go. All right. Mm. So first off, so the hot sauce, I tell you what, again, mole, prepackaged, all these restaurants are probably picking from the same boxes. <laughs> of condiments. This is nothing specific to the cuisine that we're at. However, there's actually a little bit of kick to this. I'm, I'm like pleasantly surprised. I figured it'd be like a very, very mild. I can actually taste and feel the cayenne that's in here. So that's good. Not disappointed. Again, I mean, if I was home, any hot sauce I have at home, it's going to destroy this. But again, mall on the spot. I mean, I wasn't even expecting to see hot sauce there. I was just going to grab some soy sauce. I was like, hey, look, there's hot sauce. Let's try it. So that's pretty good. Definitely goes good with it. There's not too many things here that go with the hot sauce. I'll try the rice roll with it. Sushi is another thing that goes well with hot condiments, especially wasabi. I mean, wasabi and soy is a go-to, right? But, you know, a little hot sauce and soy, let's see how it is. Of course, the hot sauce is making the rice fall apart. That's okay. Mmm. You know what? Rice roll, even better with the hot sauce. Definitely. It really brought out the flavor in it. I mean, I'm getting more of that kick because the rice roll has a little bit of wasabi in it to begin with, so I got a little extra kick though. It's good. All right, I'll try a little bit of this beef in here. Mmm. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This beef was made to go with that hot sauce. By the way, if I didn't mention it already, I probably should have. See, I'm a bad host today. I'm really off my game today. But it's my first time trying to bend the box anywhere. And this is an authentic bento box. Not like that that I read on Facebook where people are sending their kids to school with bento boxes and it's like, here's a couple of apple slices, and here's a go-ger. 
I'm like, that's not a dental box. Give me a break. Give me a break. It's basically a food container. You take your a yuppie dental box and stay home in it. It has no business being called bento. You're sending your kid with that. You might as well call it a bent over box. This is a bento box. Chase what I have with a bit of the pickled veg. Mmm. Authentic. Truly authentic. All right, so in short, my first experience with bento box, at a mall, I figure this is about as close as you're gonna get to bottom of the ladder as far as getting a bento box. I guess lower would be like if I went to like a 7-Eleven and they had a bento box, maybe that wouldn't be as good. This at least is made fresh. Not as high as going to a Japanese restaurant. Getting a bento box there would probably be better, but this is pretty good. I'm satisfied. And if I had to make a critique, I would say that I would prefer to have my dumpling steamed rather than fried, but these were pretty good. That's really about it. And maybe have some sesame sauce available with the condiments. That would have been like the icing on the cake for this. But other than that, I'm pretty happy. How'd you do with your meal, sir? It was good? Uh, I don't know, I guess you might say that I didn't really like it. Yeah. So Greg obviously hated the, uh, what was it? Was that a Philly cheesesteak? Was that what it was? It was actually Charlie's, it's called the Bacon Three Cheesesteak. Bacon what? Bacon Three Cheesesteak. Oh, Bacon Three Cheesesteak, okay. So basically there's three cheeses. There's provolone, Swiss, and cheddar with meat and bacon on it. I chose just the shredded cheddar with bacon and the meat, dry, which is the way I like it, no lettuce, no tomato, none of that. So you had the one cheese version? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it looked pretty good. It was, it was excellent. And the fries were amazing. Yeah. I mean, I tried one of your fries and I tell you, it was pretty good. They, they were more like steak fries than regular standard french fries. Mm. Really good. Thank you, Charlie's. I don't want you guys to think I'm a cheat, though. That meal he just ate is part of his birthday gift, but part of. It wasn't like, hey, I'm taking you out to lunch for your birthday. It wasn't one of those. It was more like, hey, I have an errand to run. Take care of some business nearby. Well, let's get some lunch. I actually got him some really cool gifts, which you just might see in a little bit. I'm definitely going to film, possibly publish. You have to see his reaction to one particular. Well, two things you really have to see his reaction to. One is I have a wrapped gift which has a couple of items inside. That's just your standard stuff, which I'm sure he's gonna love. But the card I got him, the card itself is freaking hilarious. And then of course I had to add my Joey Star touches to it, which he always enjoys. And then I have a separate gift. It's not wrapped, but I made it for him. I actually made it for him and myself, but that's, that's in my knapsack right now. He's gonna see that dead last because that's the one I expect the most reaction from. It's gonna be freaking great. I'm actually looking forward more to that. It's something I made for him. I'm looking forward more to what I made for him than what I bought him. <laughs> Just to give you an idea, but it is such a classic Joey and Greg thing. Anyone watching this and knows us, you're going to get it. You're going to understand when I give him this gift. It's going to be freaking awesome. I, I've actually been waiting about two years, at least two years, actually longer, but two years that I said, oh, I'm definitely going to do this. I never got around to it. This time, I planned this like two months ago. I was like, oh yeah, let me order this so I can make this for us. It's gonna be freaking awesome. That's it for now. I'm gonna finish my lunch because he already ate while I was yapping away like a fool. All right, so back at Greg's house. Once again, it's this mofo's birthday. So give my man some gifts. I think we should start off with this card, which you don't have to read that out loud. It's about catching your reaction. That it's actually in the card. Of course. Except that I want to point out how I, how I addressed it. Come on, dude. <laughs> that part, that part I think you share. So it says, to Gregadius de Stephanus, from Stephanus Stadius. <laughs> this real official ancient Greece kind of names. Sounds like I was named after a dinosaur. Well, and little Harry here is walking around with celery this now. Yeah, yeah. He's thinking about the celery this now, which we will need to discuss at this point. We could. But we won't. But we have to change the names to protect the guilty and the innocent. Yeah, especially me. That's funny. <laughs> That's a very good point. Perfectly understandable. You see that in the cake? We were just talking about that. Yep. <laughs> oh my. I haven't done that before. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I got it. 
<laughs> Not that old yet, dude. Stressed old yet. <laughs> yeah, depends. Interesting. Uh, thanks, dude, for the card. Yeah, brother. Yeah. Plenty. My memory is still sh pretty sharp, which I'm surprised. <laughs> I was almost out of graphic paper. That's why there's so much here. It didn't make sense to cut off the excess. It would have been nothing that was usable. Right. So yeah, I wasn't trying to like punk you. That's okay. At least not for this. Okay, Ash. Yeah. You yeah. didn't want to go Ash and Kutcher on me. Right. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. <laughs> I'm just laughing at your approach. It's not like you're saying funny here. As far as I know. How many stage shows does it take to unwrap a birthday gift? <laughs> oh. oh. One to do it, and 900 other ones to tell you that you're doing it wrong. No way. Hey, Joe. That motorhead on is really great. <laughs> it's so great that I actually have it. Do you? Yes. <laughs> and I went out of the way to make sure I got the import, too. Thank you, though. So, I mean, it just freaking came out, too. Ooh, the new Tony Martin. I don't have this, though. Dude, it's pretty badass. It's what you expect from him. Yeah, he's leaving it down. One of the coolest singers from the Black Sabbath fan of his era. Let me tell you, thank you for the gifts, dude. Really appreciate it. Yep. And, but wait, there's more. Is there? Oh, yeah. I'm scared. This is something we'll show your brother later because he'll appreciate it. Bam! Come on! <laughs> Are you serious? No way! <laughs> yes! Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> for years I always wanted to do this. You ready? My car. <laughs> We've been saying for years, I mean many years, that we should have our own cards. He's next. I'm a prick. So let me show you my card. Thank you. Pretty cool. And you notice I chose different fonts and stuff for this, so we have our own like styles to this. Yeah. So let me show this one here. Bam! <laughs> I'm wondering what my brother has to say in this video right now for all this. For those who are wondering what the hell is going on, In Living Color, 1990s. Yep. Funky Finger Productions. Yeah. Those skits, you'll get it. Mm -hmm. That's it on the gift. So after a great concert and weekend in Norwalk with Greg for his birthday, <laughs> this is what I came back to. Right here, yes. Roads are bad enough now that Sammy actually gets an extra night at the Doggy Resort because it's not logical for me to try to pick her up in this. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Just to wrap up, Greg's birthday, Iron Maidens. I'll drop some links below to the Star Rock video that came out of this trip. And that's really it. So once again, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys so much. If you haven't already, be sure to like, share, subscribe, stalk. I'll check you next time. Laters.